Welcome to New Beginning Outreach International. We invite you to our services at 12 noon or live at 1205 at slugaroo.com. We also have Breaking Bread Bible Study every other Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Let's get ready to enjoy the service. Remember to spread love under God's grace everywhere respectfully to rejoice on and on. See you soon. Praise God. Praise God. Amen, amen. Let's go out of hand. Praise real quick. I am free. Yes. Man, man, man. After yesterday, I said, I got to get back excited. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, had an opportunity to go check out my boy minister, and he called me on stage. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I said, today we're going to have a little more uh, <laughs> excitement. Praise God. Praise. It felt so good to be on the stage. My God. I said, ooh, I missed this. Praise the Lord. Hey, Amen. So it was very, very exciting. So I said, we're going to jump around a little bit today. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome everybody to New Beginnings Outreach International. Those watching on the Slow TV Network, we thank God for you joining us today. And today we're not going to prolong the time. Amen. We're going to continue going in our plug-in series. Amen. We're going to continue to go in our plug-in series. Amen. So today's uh, sermon title is Plug In and Grow Up. Amen. I mean, plug in and grow up. Amen. The Trinity series was truly a blessing. The Lord handpicked these, amen, and put us um, in this trilogy's bundle, amen. And we thank God for it. And I thank God that I have another opportunity to recite these, amen. I preached it one time before, two years ago, but it's a great time for now, amen. amen. So we're going to jump right into this and get excited. I'm excited about it. This is going to be some good, good word today, amen. amen. So when I first made this uh, a couple years ago, uh, plug in and grow up, I was like, wow, people going to think I'm trying to tell them to plug in and grow up. But I am. <laughs> plug in and grow up. Yeah. It's going to make a lot of sense as we dig into the word today. Amen. Right. So I want to welcome back to the trilogy. And, um, amen. We know Pastor took off last week. Amen. Enjoy uh, Elder Williams amen. preaching to us. Amen. Amen. Yeah, enjoy that. amen. So now we're going to just tackle this here. Amen. We went 13 weeks of the spring season. So we started this April 3rd. Amen. Uh -huh. And we got three more weeks left. Amen. Yeah. So 10 weeks of impartation. Yeah. Very prophetic in nature. Amen. And, and it will help us walk through the season yeah. as we go into the next season yeah. of summer. Amen. I believe it will prepare, prepare you for your next. Amen. Yeah. And I, uh, I would love to say that um, every time I hear the word that I'm preaching, it cuts me as well. Amen. Yeah. So I can be a better uh, man of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So plug in and grow up. Plug in and grow up. Amen. Amen. That's one of those ouch, man. Yeah. Ouch, man. It says, Pastor, you telling me to grow up? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I am. Plug in and grow up. Amen. We live in a generation where we must grow up. Yeah. Amen. If you don't grow proper uh, or properly, you try to birth something prematurely. Uh -huh. Amen. And it doesn't grow up. Properly, it grows up prematurely. Amen. Amen. We know about things birthed out of season or birthed uh, too quickly. Amen. 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 It says, look to your neighbor and say, grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Say it with some conviction. Like, you, grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Amen. 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 It says, we're going to stay in the vein of the vine. Amen. Amen. We're going to stay in the vein of the vine. It's going to make some sense right here. Amen. So we're going to jump right to John 15 and 1. John 15 and 1. Praise God. I want you to say amen. John 15 and 1. Amen. All right, that's one amen. <laughs> amen. And it reads, I am the true vine. Everybody say true vine. True vine. And my father is the husbandman. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Glory to God. So uh, he says, I'm the true vine and my father is the husbandman. So uh, when we know anybody talking about the father, we're talking about Jesus tells us about the father. Amen. Yes. So he says, I am. So he's letting him know about personal. I'm the true vine. Yes. And my father is the husbandman. Amen. Yes. And the husbandman in the definition is one that plows or cultivates land. Yes. Former. It says a specialist in a branch or form husbandry. A man, a husband, man. Glory to God. And John 15 and 5 in the King James, it, it says this. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth what? Much fruit. Oh, powerful. It says, for without me you can do nothing. Okay, so everybody say, bring forth, bring forth much fruit. 
God's fruit, God's fruit without, me, without me, he can do nothing. He can do nothing. That's powerful. Amen. He said, I'm the vine, ye are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, he can do nothing. That's why I always say, whatever you do for Christ will last. Always add Jesus to whatever I'm cooking in my life. Whatever I'm doing in my life, I sprinkle some Jesus in there. Really a lot of Jesus. You know what I mean? So, you know, some food may be a little salty. Amen. Mine's got a lot of Jesus in it. So, whatever you taste my food, oh, some Jesus in that. Amen. Some people are like, hold the Jesus, please. You know. Who was Jesus? Glory to God. But we the salt of the earth. We have to have flavor. Glory to God. Whenever we go to a place, we add flavor to that place. Glory to God. You know how some people are like, I don't eat meat, or I don't do vegan, or I'm vegan, and then some people don't do Jesus. Check this out. They don't do Jesus, so they like their life to be bland. With no taste, no salt. We add flavor to the earth. That's right. That's good, amen. Ask Jesus in whatever you're cooking in your life. It's going to taste scrump delicious, or how they say it. Scrump delicious, amen. So the father is the husbandman which specializes in branches that also plows and cultivates land. Amen. The father is the husbandman. So he specializes in branches. So he specializes in us. Glory to God. Cultivates us. Amen. So Jesus is the vine. He is our source. That's the truth. Man, he is our source. We are the branches and the father is the husbandman. Plug in and grow up. That's right. Amen. I study the vine and how plants climb. All about the vines and all about climbing plants. Amen. It says growing up rather than out is good. It says it saves the space in the garden and yields a great vine plants. That's right. Check it out. It Come says on. growing up rather than growing out is good. It saves space in the garden and this yields great plants. That's true. It says growing up rather than growing out is good. It saves space in the garden and That's it right. yields great Come plants. On. Amen. Pastors know it's better to grow up in God than you grow out of God. Being separated. It's better to grow up in God than growing out of God. Amen. It's That's also right. said Come by on. adding a trellis or some vertical structure to your garden, it gives you a whole new dimension of visual interest. Amen. So we're talking about the vines today. We're talking about how vines grow up instead of growing out. Because it saves space in the garden. Amen. Amen. It's going to be good. What's a trellis, Pastor? Well, the trellis is this. It says a frame of long pieces of wood that cross each other that is used as support of climbing plants. It says a, a form of pieces of wood that cross each other. Okay, and it says this. You have to uh, provide a trellis when you want to train a vine. My God. So as you add structure, as you add church, as you add prayer, as you add studying, glory to God, you lay in a foundation as you plug into the source to the Father through Jesus, your vertical structure. I know this is kind of like, Pastor, what are you talking about? I'm going to break it down to you. Amen. You're a mediator to the Father so you can grow up. You can connect yourself to the structure of the word. Now the, the trellis we're using today will be Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we connect to him and we wrap ourselves around him and grow up, glory to God, it adds structure to your life. Yes. So as you add to the structure, you add church, you add prayer, you add studying, you're laying the foundation as you plug into your source. To the Father, through Jesus, your vertical structure, who is your mediator. The only way that we can grow up in God is with the mediator. Yes. My That's God. Right. So climbing Come plants on. climb in particular ways. Some wrap, some curl. Glory to God. Vine branches twist and turn to find something to hold on to to grow up. Glory to God. Sometimes we have to train a vine because the vine is going all which of ways where it can see it can go. So it can grab a hold of something to grow up. Glory to God. So a vine grows when it's looking and searching where it can go. It's twisted and turning its life and it's trying to hold on to something. Glory to God. So it's many things in the garden that you can grab a hold to, but you got to make sure you grab and hold to the right trellis. That's right. Glory to God. So a vine branch, it grows, it twists and turns and finds something to hold on to. Pastor, how does this apply to me? <laughs> Glad you asked. You are the branches. You're the branches. Glory to God. Through the twist and the turn of your life, you're looking for something to hold on to. So as you're living in your life, you 
steady growing, you may be growing out, but you may not know nothing about a trailer, so you're just going every which uh -huh. way. Your life makes you go this way. Yes. You might get a win, it makes you go that way. That's you're right. growing, your swim is good, yes. you're growing, this is good. Yes. You're growing, but you're not growing the proper way. Oh, no. God, you're good. growing out this way. Yes. You're looking for something to grab hold to. Yes. Yes, Lord. You're looking for something to grab a hold to. Go to God through the twists and turns in your life. You're looking for something to hold on to. Yes. Vines, they grow up twisting and turning. Uh -huh. So that's how it applies to us. Amen. Amen. Through twists and turns in our life. Amen. Amen. Some things in your life may not go the right way, right. but you're still growing. That's right. Come on. You're still growing. Amen. Yes. Look at this. It says this. I don't think you heard me. <laughs> My God. I don't think you heard me. Amen. Like they say, I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. Amen. It says it's better to grow up than out. Amen. It's better to grow up in God than out of God. Being separated from God. Glory to God. Through the twists and turns, many come, many go, and they get off the right. My God, that's powerful. So as you're going through your life, you may be going through some things in your life, and you might be looking for something. And you're just stretching and you're twisting and you're turning. Yes. Amen. But well, it can get you off course sometimes. Right. And this is what it says. Pastor Ruth says, stay the course. Stay the course. I'm speaking That's to your right. spirit. Stay the course. Stay the course. Plug in and grow up. Plug in and grow up. It says the, the stems, they twist around whatever they touch. Glory to God. So if it touch one little thing, it's going to twist around it. So it can be any any doctrine, anything that's going on in your life, anything that, that may look good or appealing, you would grab a hold to it and start twisting it. And growing around it, be it a pole, be it a branch, A chair or stems that grow clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on the species of plants. Some grow large, some need stronger support. Some plants and some vines need stronger support. Glory to God. So that's good. I'm just going to go. I'm trying to hold it so I can hear this word. Glory to God. Some of us need stronger support. Some of us need more encouragement than others That's because right. we're twisting and we're twining and we're growing, but nobody's there to give us a hand so we can grow up to the proper trellis. So you're twisting and you're turning and you're looking for where you can go because whatever you touch, you're going to grab a hold to that. That's right. That's right. True. Glory to God. Some grow large and some need stronger support. And it says also there are scramblers. Yes. Now they are climbing and rambling roses are two of many plants that fall into a scrambler category. Yeah. My God, scrambler. It says these plants have flexible stems that may look like vines, but they are unable to climb on their own. That's the truth. God. Some of us are bent or are branches and we can't climb on our own. Come on now. Glory to God. Some of us are scramblers. We're looking for where we can go. We're trying to find out. I need something to help me to go where I need to go. I know I need to grow up, but everything is in me is telling me to grow out. Come on. Everything around me is telling me to grow out because it's in the wild. That's right. It's in the wild. We're scrambling. You know how when a quarterback get in there and now we're scrambling? Because it may not go the right way. Yes. So we twist it and turn it right. so we can get away from the enemy. Yeah. It ain't just you, it's stuff that's trying to block you or sack you. Amen. Glory to God, we're trying to go forward, but the enemy, the defense wants you to go backwards. Right. So you got to scramble through this stuff yeah. and try to find yeah. an open yeah. man. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. So the scramblers sometimes have thorns that will help them grip neighboring stems. Yeah. So if you see a rose and you see the thorn, and you know roses, they twist and turn too. It needs help. That's right. Glory to God for neighboring stems. Come on. Glory to God. If you want these to climb up a trellis, you would need to tap them into place. <laughs> and probably tie them on the wire to a sturdy string. Glory to God. Some of that's us are branches that's growing, Come and on. we need help to grow. We have our thorns, but we still need to be tapped. In place, yeah, and that's yeah. where it hurts at because you don't want to be tied down. That's right, that's right. You don't want to be committed to something, glory to God, because that's not where you. I'm trying to grow out. I ain't trying to grow up. I'm trying to grow out. I'm not trying to grow up, but. 
But the Lord is saying that some branches need assistance. Some branches need to gather with something that's going to make them grow up instead of growing out. That's Scramblers. Come on. Don't be a scrambler. Glory to God. Don't, this is key. Don't left, don't have life tack you down. Life can humble you to stay in position. So as we're growing up in, you know how sometimes we just stopped in the middle of our life. Let's Lord. My God. Stopped in the middle of our life. We try to grow. We try to move out of this situation, but you get stopped in the middle of your life. Amen. Amen. It says, don't be a scrambler. Don't have life tack you down. My God, life can be rough. Plug in and grow up. Some of us need others we can attach to. Powerful. Some of us need others that we can attach to to help us grow. It says the husband, which is the father, gives us Jesus. He gives us Jesus to tie us together so we, we may have a sturdy string or to have a solid foundation to grow up. So we're going to use the podium as the trellis. We're going to use the podium as Jesus. Amen. As we're growing out, we try to figure out, so we got to wrap around this thing. And go Lord. Lord. John 15 and 5 it says this I am the vine, ye are the branches. It says, He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth what? The fruit. Ah, that, that wasn't convincing. Same bringeth forth what? My fruit. All right, talk to me now. It says, For without me, ye can do nothing. Amen. So, guess what? We are tied in. We are grafted in. It's great. Right. He that is in me. Tied in, we are grafted in, amen. If the husband is, he looks and he prunes us. Yes. Some of the stuff you don't do like you used to, uh -huh. or you don't do it as much because you don't got a taste for it no more. Amen. That's the Lord cutting that stuff off. That's the Lord pruning you so you can go right way. Because if he sees you going out, he gonna clip that. Amen. You know, you're trying to figure out where your old buddy at. Your old mom, he can't hold on to it no more. Because the Lord can cut that thing off. For life because it's not, you're going to grow out of the will of God. You're going to grow out of the will of God. Amen. You got to be grafted in. Have to be grafted in. It says, without me, without Jesus, we can do nothing. We can do no thing. <laughs> we can do no thing. What you doing? No thing. Come on. Man, you should be further than that, man. I got to get back. You know how you be like, man, I got to get back in. I got to get back grafted in. Got to get back grafted in. I got to cut some things off so I can grow up pr properly. That's Since right. by being plugged into the source, now we have access to do. Without God, we can do no thing. But when we're grafted in, we can do something and have much fruit. That's not convincing. Much fruit. Amen. By being plugged into the source, now we have access to do. My God, my, this is the key. When you, <laughs> glory to God, when you can have access to do, you ain't worried about no thing. People tripping because they don't have access. Let that sink in. When you got access to buy whatever you want, you ain't tripping about no thing. But when you don't, you're tripping about everything. <laughs> Let that make sense. When you got access to do, you ain't tripping about no thing. But when you don't, you're worried about everything. You may need to connect. I'm telling you. It says, we have access to bear fruit. We have access to grow up. So, as you are growing up in life, twists and turns, go to God. We will be present to make sure that you grab a hold to the proper structure in your life. So, as you're growing up, we're not trying to uh, dictate you. Let this go into you real quick. I'm a, I'm a, a little husbandman today. <laughs> I ain't trying to just tack you down for no reason. I want you to grow up. I'm not trying to just cut you off and cut those things that you may like. I just see it's not good for you. So the word of God comes to cut off those things. So we can grow up the right way. 
grow up the right way. You know when you start growing out, you don't see no fruit no more. You don't even like to pray no more. You don't like to go to church no more. You don't like to hear no church songs no more. You just out. You out in the wild. Like they say, the church in the wild. You just out. Glory to God. But I'm letting you know today, the Lord wants you to grow up instead of growing out. They said, so you are growing up in life, twists and turns. Amen. But make sure you grab a hold of something with the proper structure in your life. Many things will try to attach itself to you. If you are not careful, make sure it's Jesus. Amen. You know how you, you, know, you get around and you be doing stuff. You're like, man, I ain't said that in a long time. What's going on with you? I ain't did that in a long time. What's going on with you? Glory to God. You start acting like what you're around. Amen. You start acting like what you're around. You're like, man, I, <laughs> man, I like that. I ain't did that in a long time. My God. You're growing out. Yes. Instead of growing up. Amen. It says a relationship that is not seeking God will not work. Mm. According to the word. Amen. Not past the rule. Mm. Don't get mad at me. It's the word. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. Like the news. Don't get mad at the news. <laughs> it says make sure it's Jesus. Grow up. It says a relationship that is not seeking the Lord will not work. According to the word. Even in our relationship in the beginning, it was rough because we wasn't really applying the word to our relationship. We was just trying to do it our way until it says in the word. Amen. Amen. Grow up. Not feeding your spirit will not grow your spirit. Not feeding your spirit will not grow your spirit. Amen. Not feeding your spirit will not grow your spirit. So if you don't hear words of, of the Lord or word of affirmation or prayers, it won't feed your spirit. Your, your spirit is going to be food, skinny. <laughs> Can't even get an amen. <laughs> I don't want my spirit to be weak. <laughs> amen. Barely get an amen. Plug in and grow up. It says our job as the branches are to grow. That's it. Like I said, I didn't say there's nothing wrong with growing out. I just said make sure you grow up. Because you're going to continue to grow. Now when the, the branches start to die, that, that what you're rooted in is not right. Amen? It says our branches are to grow and to bear fruit in its season. Man, I could talk a lot about seasons. We will go to Galatians 6, uh, 1 through 9. Real quick, in the King James Version. I'm just going to flow with it. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in fault which ye are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou be also tempted. Bear ye another's burden, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. And yeah, that's why I try to be me, baby. I ain't trying to do nothing extra. For real. I'm trying to be me. Because as soon as you feel like I made it, you do. That's a word from Pastor Ruth. Do. I don't know how you even spell it. It's just screw. Whenever, whenever you try to be something or think of yourself higher than what you is or what you are. You know, maybe trying to check Pastor Ruth's vernacular on me. I gotta be me, right? It says, but let every man prove his own work. You got to prove your own work. And then if I come by your garden, I'll be like, hey, how your garden doing? Oh, my garden good. And I walk by, I see this rotten fruit and tomatoes just leaning over. The watermelon's got bugs in it. You know what I mean? I don't want nothing from that garden. I want that garden to be pretty, you know? Oh, hallelujah. You know a garden has been working. When your legs and your knees are dirty. Praise God. You know, my, my Aunt Velma used to always have those little cut out things. And we used to cut them out as a kid because she used to babysit us. And we used to paint it uh, red with the polka dots. And if you look at it, it looked like a woman behind bent over in the garden. Because that's showing that she's working her garden. Amen. So if you're not working your garden, don't expect people to say, Good job. Your garden is messed up. Amen. You have to work your garden. If you ain't got nothing down there, your knees ain't dirty, you're just walking around pretty. Yeah. Garden messed up. Yeah. It's time to work your garden. Yes, yeah. And it's going to benefit you, glory to God. If we think about uh, gardens back in the day, some people had to wake up in the morning, 
The kids wake up, man, man, go get them eggs. Granny, go get them chickens. You know what I'm saying? You have to work your land. Yes. Oh, my God, it really wasn't no work. It was working your house where you at. That's right. You wake up in the morning, I'm going to get this cow of corn. Go get them sheep. Hey, you know, we are working together. So at the end of the day, we eat. That's right. Hey, man, if you're lazy, you ain't eat. My grandmother said that they probably be home. I said, we ain't eat. We got to go. We got to work this hard. My God. My God, this is hard work. When you work in your garden. So just like the farmers, they had to wake up and till to their land. Till to their land. It says, for if a man think of himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceived himself. We are nothing. But we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. It says, for, but let every man prove his own work, then shall he rejoice in himself alone and not another. It says, for every man shall bear his own burden. Glory to God. Amen. Six, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all things. Seven, be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall reap the flesh corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Nine, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Now nine is key. Now that's for us to feel like our due season hasn't came yet. Yes. That's for us to feel like our comeback hasn't came yet. Yes. Amen. That's for us to encourage us in due season. Yes. If you faint not. Amen. Sometimes you, you're tired of blowing up. <laughs> this ain't even on my thing. You're tired of growing up. You're tired of going to church. You're tired of doing this. You're tired of being friendly. But you want to grow out. Amen. But sometimes before you grow out, that's when your breakthrough is coming. Amen. Oh my God. That's when your breakthrough is When you feel like I didn't have enough, I want to throw in the towel. <laughs> your breakthrough is right after you threw it. And you missed it. So right when you want to throw in your breakthrough, like don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You didn't do it. Now your breakthrough got to come through in another season. Woo! So now you're like, you know what? I could have had that last season. But I threw it in the towel. Now you wanted to get that towel. Now you said, man, I ain't throwing the towel no more. I ain't throwing the towel in no more. I made that decision. I would not throw in the towel no more. I don't care how hard it looks. I don't care what the twist. I don't care what the turns is. I'm going to grow up. Because if you grow up in God, you're going to another level. Yes. Now we're talking about ascending to the Father. Now we're talking about wrapped up to Him. Check this out. Don't give up. Plug in and grow up. That's, that's a mature word. That's what. Don't give up. Plug in and grow up. Seven words that's going to bless your life. Don't give up. What does it say? Plug in and grow up. You tell them, what are you talking about? Don't give up. Plug in and grow up. Because we are the branches. Yes. He is the vine and the husbandman is cutting off everything around us that's making us grow out. Yes. My God. And, and 6 and 8 in the message says this. Don't be misled. Yes. No one makes a fool of God. Uh -huh. That'll hurt us. Yes. We, you know. <laughs> what a person plants, he will harvest. Yes. Man, while I'm going through hell, maybe you planted some hell. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, why I ain't receiving nothing? Did you sow some? <laughs> a farmer never got mad at what he didn't sow. <laughs> you can't say, we want some tomatoes. Mama didn't plant them. <laughs> I was so like some green peppers. Well, you didn't plant them. Yeah. I'm using the agriculture, amen? Oh, we ain't talking about no money. I ain't talking about that. Uh -huh. I'm talking about agriculture back in the day, what they had to do. Yeah. And then if you want to even get to another point, even when the people who didn't have nothing, the people who had farms, they left a little bit for the people who didn't have nothing. That was the welfare system. So what they called that was gleaners. Yeah. Glory to God, it was gleaners, amen? So, you know, it didn't matter if you didn't have land. It was other people saving something for you. Amen. Listen, from seeds that they planted. My God. My God. You know? So the Lord looks out for everybody in every dispensation. And every dispensation is a time period of life. Amen. We in a dispensation of grace. So that's why I feel like we can do and grow out the way we want to. Because the Lord still has grace. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. It's a good, good teaching today. 
7 and 8 message in Galatians. Galatians 6, 7 and 8. We'll read this in the message. It says this. Don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What a person plants, he will, he will harvest. The person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God. Exclamation point. Harvest a crops of weeds. This is the word. All he has to show for is his life is weeds. But the one who plants in response to God, letting God's spirit do growth, work in him, harvest a crop of real life, eternal life. I don't want a, a, a life of weeds. I don't want a, a life of, of weeds. More weeds. It says a, a, a God's spirit do the growth work in him. So we got to wrap around this thing and grow up in him. Glory to God. 9 and 10. So it says, so let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. Amen. Check this out. Uh, you know, Pastor always is adamant about not burning you out, right? So you don't get fatigued in doing good. Because as you try to do good and be the person that you need to be, uh -huh. it can get lonely and it can get tiresome. Amen. Because after a while, you're doing good and see everybody else not doing no thing. Amen. So now that starts to play with your mind. Yes. Check this out. It says, at the right time, we will harvest a great crop if we don't give up. Right when you want to throw in the towel, you better hold it. You better let it drop and catch me like Jesus. I was just playing. I was about to throw this. I wasn't going to. Was, was, your breakthrough coming. Right when you want to throw it, Jesus is going to be like, ah, ah, ah. Don't do it. Put it down. At the right time, we will harvest a great crop if we don't give up. Or quit. It says, right now, therefore, every time we get a chance, look, I mean, let us, excuse me, let us for the benefit of all, starting with people closest to us in the community of faith. Like I said, a garden grows up before it can be better space in a garden. Amen. In order for us to grow as a community, as a garden, we got to grow up. Because if we all growing all this way, we can't walk through. Let alone the husbandmen can't walk through. Now you're trying to figure out why it's always ours in those farmlands. So the husband can walk through. My God, listen to this. We can't be going and growing out everywhere because the father is trying to walk through our garden to inspect and see if we're growing up and not growing out. He's trying to walk through this aisle. Okay, all right, that needs to be clipped. All right, cool, cool. Let me go over here. Oh, man, oh, that's pretty. Okay, okay, but if this stuff in the way, what are you going to do? going to chop that off. Don't, don't let life tack you down because the husband may got to go through and make sure the branches are growing up. My God. Growing up. Glory to God. Check, check this out. The church, the community of faith of believers. Glory to God. Jesus is waiting to assist us. He pulls us up. My book coming out. Shameless blood. Praise God. <laughs> the come up. Let downs for the come up. Glory to God. When you attach yourself to God, your life does nothing but go up. It has to. Because you're connected to the trellis. Through your twists and your turns of life, you attach to God and you grow. Glory to God. Check this out. This is me speaking to your life. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Plug in and grow up. So what this is saying is, he's divine. The father is the husbandman. We are the branches. We can't bear no fruit without him. Glory to God. We don't want to think of ourselves bigger than what we are. Glory to God. We want to grow up and not out. So as we grow up, the Lord can do what he needs to do in our life. Amen. Glory to God. He want to clip off those things. Glory to God. Like I said, you, you be looking like, man, where old boy at? Where old girl at? I can't even find him. I got to grow up. Listen, when you're alone, you ain't tripping off nobody else. You're just doing your thing. Amen. You're doing your thing because now you can be focused. And that's what happens in your life. You can go through twists and turns in your life so the Lord can sit you down. Amen. And you can reevaluate, okay, I have to give you my time yes. every time. Yes. Lord, I want you to make me grow the right way. Yes. He don't want us to grow out because as we grow out, man, there's a lot of stuff I posted up today talking about, you know, staying connected. Amen. As you continue to grow out, it just becomes normal. It just becomes normal. So you're just growing out, you know. Everybody else growing up, hey, how you doing? I just comfortable to me. 
I like this. And they tell you, and then that's when you think people being mad at you. Man, do you know you got great potential? You can really grow up. You talking about growing up? I'm growing out. This is comfortable to me. But being prone hurts. You know? But it's for our making. It's for our making so we can grow up to where we need to be. Glory to God. Grow up to where we need to be the salt of the earth, right? We need to be the savior. We need to be uh, what the world is looking up to. To see, okay, they, they're wrapped around that trailer. Say, man, they're going through some real hell and high water. Why they ain't going and throwing in the towel? Some people look at your life and be like, I would have been through the towel. Man. But you telling them, no, I got a harvest coming. No, I got a season coming. No, I got a, some fruit coming. But I, didn't, I didn't plant them seeds of goodness for nothing. They look at them side my head and I'm saying, bless you. I'm not sowing seeds of kindness for nothing. I didn't go through all the hell of my job for nothing. I didn't, I didn't, I'm, I'm sick of my boss. But every morning, good morning. I ain't kissing no butt for nothing. Just keep it real. You ain't you going to work to get a check. But if we can use that same mentality, I'm going to church so I can go to heaven. It would be no more sickness. It would be no more dying. It would be no more working. It would be no more tripping. It would be no more killings. I'm trying to go to heaven. I'm trying to plug in so I can go up. I'm trying to grow up, but I'm trying to go up. I ain't, man. I'm just telling you, sometimes I better go down. When you hurry up and come back. Just keeping it in real. Hurry up and come back. I'm tired, Lord. Back in the day, the old school people. I'm tired, Lord. I'm tired, Lord. But don't say I'm tired, Lord, and you ain't ready. That's when, that's when you really ain't gonna go into town. No, no, let me get right. That's why we talk about the church. We want you to get right. So when you be like, I'm tired, Lord, then you can go right. That's why we're trying to tell you we need you to grow up. Because no man knows the day nor the hour. Right? right? So that's why it's so adamant we want to come to the community of faith. So we're going to say, hey, man, we need you to grow up because you got potential. And not just potential down here. Because you know you can have your heaven on earth, right? The reason you work is to make money and to provide for your family, right? You can enjoy stuff, but you got to just chop some stuff down. Amen. Hey, like me, I want more income and less expenses so I can do more with my family. I cut down hours on my job at work so I can spend time with my family. For the last six years, I've been working in no time for my family. Amen. So I got to the point to where I don't care about money. When you can get to the point where you ain't caring about the stuff that make you grow out, you can grow up. When you don't care about what's around you, listen. Because everything around you, you're trying to crack, you're trying to catch it, you're trying to grow. But if you go up, you ain't worried about what's around you. So now you know if I'm connected to the trellis, that's my source. Everything that I'm asking for, he's going to give me, even if I'm working less. When you can get to the point where you don't have to work extra and just chop off, listen, prune the extra, you will have more with less work. He wants us to work smarter and not harder so we can work this kingdom on earth. So we can grow up. My God. So as you can grow up, you can let others know, like, I've been through that. Don't, 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 don't throw the, the towel in. But listen to this. Now we're going to go back to some more seeds, right? So now if you got extra, you're seeing someone who is struggling. And they're trying to reach out for other stuff. But you're in position to chop off that reach and they can connect. Because you can be a blessing to that. Do you know you're one person or one step away from your next blessing? But you got to be in place. <laughs> you got to be in place. Amen. You got to be in place. So as you're in place, you can get the right connection. So you get the right connection to the source. Amen. My God, your source will give you resources. Be faithful over the resources so then you can do what you got to do. Amen? Amen? You are never lacking God. Mm. It's not a money thing. God is not a, a, a miracle working lottery. Amen. It's to be faithful over what you got. Glory to God. Did he make you rulers over much? Glory to God. It doesn't matter. Amen? But it's about the principles about staying connected to God. 
So when you stand connected to God, you ain't worried. Like, keep back. Father, we all we ain't eating right now. We ain't eat. I said, hey, I said, y'all better uh, think about what you ate this week. <laughs> Just keep it real. Right? But a pastor is a hard uh, parent, grandparent. Amen. But it's a good way, amen. It's let them appreciate. But we can't stop right now, amen. We got we got to go somewhere. Y'all gonna eat? Don't worry. When you eat, you gonna eat good. But right now we ain't eating. It's your fast, amen. <laughs> right. Gotta grow them up. And then we talked about that. We told them to pray for us yesterday. The baby, she didn't really know. But man, man, and, and, and granted, they got it in in prayer. We want to train up. Train up this next generation. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So plug in and grow up. Amen. Let's give God praise. Without needing to hunt down receipts, bank statements, or acknowledgement letters. You can also set your home and favorites. Mark Churches is your favorite, so you can donate as frequently and generously as you'd like, even when you're thousands of miles away. Mark the church you normally attend as your home church for quick one-tap access. Givelify. Tap. Give. App on your phone called Givelify. Givelify is giving simplified. Givelify is the fastest and easiest way to donate to the church, charity, or cause of your choice. You're not limited to the cash you have on hand. There's no need to write checks, and there are no complicated sign-up forms to fill out, websites, or text message codes to remember. Givelify automatically pinpoints your location and intelligently identifies the fundraiser or church service you're attending without the need to search. Since Givelify automatically detects where you are, making a donation can be completed in as few as three taps. Tap 1. Use one of the pre-configured denominations to specify the donation amount. Tap 2. Select the specific campaign to which you'd like to contribute. Tap 3. With your stored credit card, complete your donation in one tap. You get an immediate donation receipt, and you can even share your generosity on Facebook or Twitter. Givelify lets you easily see your donation history with any church or charity you donate to. You can also accurately track your donations for your taxes without needing to hunt down receipts, bank statements, or acknowledgement letters. You can also set your home and favorites. Mark churches as your favorites so you can donate as frequently and generously as you'd like, even when you're thousands of miles away. Mark the church you normally attend as your home church for quick one-tap access. Givelify. Tap. Give. Done. Yeah, Giveify. If you download that app, Giveify, you'll be able to, to sow seed to us or give us a, a, a seed of appreciation or anything you like to do. Amen. So check us out on Giveify. And our church is New Beginnings Outreach International, Alton, Illinois. You'll see me and my wife's face on there. And you'll see our phone number, and address, etc. You can give as much as you want. Amen. So tell a friend and tell a friend, hey, we're going to give to New Beginnings Outreach International on Giveify. Download.